link right here hope you got informed in our previous interview and uh, this one is for those ones planning to get into relationships or in relationships right there so i have a guest who has dedicated his life to trans uh, transforming lives and speaking about relationships and encouraging equipping and empowering lives to unmask the potential to operate in the area of purpose quite deep right there and this is in the back end of his brand new book uh, before you think of dating he goes by the name alan lawrence karibu sana yes sir. thank you so much for your having camera me. is number four yeah. i know you have a lot of aka's that you'd <laughs> like to share with us uh, so just introduce you introduce yourself briefly Wow. Uh -huh. My introduction is very simple. My uh -huh. name is Alan Lawrence. Uh -huh. I'm a man who wants to die empty. I'm a man who wants to, one day when I die, uh -huh. let people remember me not for the suits I wear, not for the things I have done, but the impact I've left on the earth. The impact you've left on uh, the earth. Yes. And today, uh, I'm, I think you're going to leave some impact on this show for sure. Yeah. <laughs> First, before we get into discussing this amazing book, Yes. And I love the cover. Thank You're you going so to much. Me up with this graphic design. Yeah, I will. All right. <laughs> yes. uh, are you in a relationship, Mr. Alan Lawrence? Yes, I'm in a relationship, a serious one. A serious relationship. Yes. Yeah. Uh, for how long have you been in a relationship? Mm, serious relationship for now about uh, four years. For four years now. Yes. All right. How is it dating a critic of relationships like you? Uh, that is a question <laughs> I should be posing uh, to Alan's <laughs> girlfriend. <laughs> if you're watching, yes. I'd like to know how it is dating a relationship <laughs> critic like Alan. Uh, well, let's get into this book. Yeah. It's better to wait other than waste. Okay. Remember, no relationship will ever leave, leave you neutral. neutral. Yes. It will either buy something out of you or sell something into, into you. you. Very deep words right there. Y yes. Where did this come from? Broken relationship or a broken heart? <laughs> yeah, like not, not, not necessarily direct, but uh, indirect because I do counseling for a number of people. Mm -hmm. You come to realize that uh, most of the people, they have not mapped their purpose. Mm -hmm. You get into a relationship because you want to fit in. Mm -hmm. Because your friends are dating, you just want to fit in and mm -hmm. you've not mapped your purpose. Mm -hmm. That is when I've said no relationship will ever leave you neutral. Mm -hmm. Like all of us, the producers and everyone, the, everyone here, mm -hmm. there is a struggle we are going through. Mm -hmm. And this struggle, you look at it keenly, mm -hmm. it was because of some wrong association mm -hmm. and having an uh, a, a unrealistic expectation on, right. on, on people. So I think the first trouble starts with self, accepting self. That, that is when now, you know, you cannot relate with another person mm -hmm. if you've not related with yourself. Because if you have issues with, with yourself, mm -hmm. even you can get lost in a crowd of two people, yet you are the tallest one. So it takes you to have... You're full of quotes <laughs> and I'm loving it. All right. <laughs> so if you're not okay or content with yourself with yourself if you have not known yourself yeah you can get lost in a, a crowd, crowd of two, two people yes you however tall you are yes all right <laughs> and a crowd of two people is a smart way of saying a relationship <laughs> yes <laughs> exactly. I'm guessing. yeah all right uh, so uh a lot of people get into relationships uh with a lot of expectations yes that's why they end up being frustrated uh -huh. yeah so people get frustrated because of expectations. Expectations, unrealistic. Right. Unrealistic expectations. Yes. All right, we have something called standard. Mm. Kebs. Yeah. <laughs> How do you have standards without expectations? There's no... Yes. We can't have standards without without expectations. Without, without expectations, uh -huh. right. But, but it all begins, you know, like I always ask ladies, for, for instance, you find a lady, mm -hmm. wants a guy who drives. Uh -huh. No problem. That is a standard you've set to yourself. Mm -hmm. Someone said so the other day, someone was saying, if you want the guy who drives, you will definitely find them mm -hmm. where you've parked your car. So it begins by you. Because <laughs> <laughs> the only way you're going to find other drivers if you're parking with them. Exactly. All right. So it's, it's just like, uh, you know, I cannot expect to have a champagne on a Changa budget. It uh -huh. can never work. It can never it work. It can never work. So expectations are the first enemies of relationships. Exactly. All right. So many people have frequently been using dating as a rescue centers for themselves and they never are uh, comfortable around themselves. That's why they end up dating wrongly uh, many people wow have frequently been using dating as a rescue for themselves all right so what are people risking rescuing themselves from uh, while they get into dating what are some of these problems that lead people into dating thinking that dating is going to save them from it 
you know mention the, one by one because I'm pretty sure it's affected uh, most of us around here. I, I think the the reason as to why people like they are never comfortable around themselves because mm -hmm. I will doubt you if you if you promise me something mm -hmm. that you that you are not mm -hmm. yourself. So it begins by you loving the person in the mirror mm -hmm. because we can sit here, I can cheat on you, mm -hmm. I can like lie and, and speak a lot of things, but mm -hmm. there is one person uh -huh. I can never lie to uh -huh. myself. Uh -huh. That moment, am I comfortable? Uh -huh. Like, am I realistic with myself? Uh -huh. When I look myself in the mirror, can uh -huh. like once you are very much com contented with yourself, you love yourself. Uh -huh. That is where now you can promise another person to love another person. So mm -hmm. people use uh, use dating as rescue mission in this sense whereby they, they are not contented staying around themselves. Mm -hmm. They have not mapped their purpose. Mm -hmm. their, their, their validation comes from outside but because your validation mm -hmm. comes from inside mm -hmm. you will not even seek a relationship because uh -huh. you have an intimacy with yourself. Uh -huh. so that is when you can now confidently give love to another person. Uh -huh. So you cannot pour from, from an empty cup. So you, you cannot <laughs> never ever pour from an empty, empty cup. Yeah. Feel yourself. Feel yourself. Uh -huh. That is when now you can promise another person love. Uh -huh. So most people they, they they tend to run into relationships so that they uh -huh. can feel validated. Uh -huh. Your value needs to come to come from within yourself. Uh -huh. Today many Many, like for instance, someone will date another person just because they want to be associated with the, uh, with another person uh -huh. for endorsement, for advertisement. Uh -huh. But once you are you are like, I'm contented with, with myself. Uh -huh. So I always ask people, today if you are not dating that person, will your value remain? If you are not called me so and so, uh -huh. if you are not called that you are dating so and so, will uh -huh. your value remain as a person? But I think we are two in one. <laughs> <laughs> we are two in one, yes. When we are two in one, there's no one for one. Exa but mm -hmm. now, like, like, you know, let, let, let's be real. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, today you minus sex uh -huh. out of a relationship. Uh -huh. most, most of the people remain single. Uh -huh. That is a fact. Most of the people remain single. So the value is what remains because a relationship can come uh -huh. and go. Uh -huh. People can come and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and heartbreak you. Uh -huh. But are you comfortable around yourself? Uh -huh. Have you mapped your purpose? Uh -huh. Can you wake up in the morning? Because there is a time even I wake up, I don't want to hear anyone telling me I love you. Uh -huh. But what will cement us together, what will keep me going is my purpose. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> you need to find that purpose Ye first. Yes. Okay. So we often find ourselves in uh, situations. I know myself. Hmm. Oh, you can you can never be hundred percent. Exactly. You're like ninety eight percent. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> knowing your purpose, uh, knowing yourself, where you're going. Yes. Uh, but you happen to meet this person, you fall in love with them, but hmm. they still have issues of their own. How do you deal with such a situation? Do you build the person? Do you bring the person up or run away? Number one, r relationship is not mentorship. Mm -hmm. So, you know, most of the people today, they are into relationship. They are thinking they are into relationship, uh -huh. but they are actually doing mentorship. Uh -huh. So you cannot mentor someone. Uh -huh. So you have to let this person grow. And I have a problem with most of the people who date below the age of 25 years. Uh -huh. Why? Because at the age of 25 years, everyone is trying to experiment this and this and this. Uh -huh. Like, if you find them in church, they are like, uh, you know, uh -huh. if you find them at work, they are so much enthusiastic. Yeah. But at the age of 26 and above, this person is at least, they have, uh, they have now narrowed down their brain is now focused on uh -huh. on like i want to go on this direction but uh -huh. below this age they are trying to experiment all right so so uh, below 25 uh, yeah kulara like, like find something do something important to live your life live your life of better words. yes all right yeah. and then after 25 you can uh, start dating yeah. uh, okay but for for, for ladies it's uh, the, the, i hear there's a clock there's something <laughs> called a biological clock mm. and you can't force somebody to to wait for 26 <laughs> and uh, probably uh, you know they want by 30 the, 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 nine years old and she's back to her figure <laughs> the way it was. People have different plans. So what do you have to say about that? Like, uh, for me, is uh, that is when I've said love is never a feeling. Uh -huh. It's a commitment. Uh -huh. So you need to develop your brain to an extent that uh, I've known what I'm signing up for. Mm -hmm. Because if someone today, some, you tell like, I always, I always ask 
you know, ladies do not have an option mm. because they can never chase, chase a man. Uh -huh. It's as a man, as as men that do uh -huh. the do the hunting. But the ladies of nowadays, my but, friend. I know we can times do change. Times <laughs> change. Times <laughs> change. But you see, you uh -huh. have to you have to know really what are you signing up for. Mm -hmm. Like, ask this person. Why do you love me? Mm -hmm. If this person cannot confidently answer the answer uh -huh. to you that they love you for this reason, uh -huh. be sure they will hate you and they will heartbreak you for no reason. Uh -huh. A time so, is coming. Yeah, a time is coming. That uh -huh. is a time bomb. Uh -huh. So this person, you need to be realistic. It's not when you go out for those dates. Uh -huh. It's not for you to eat chips and do all those kind of things. Apply lipstick after every five minutes. Uh -huh. No, it's about studying. Studying this person. Uh -huh. Try to like ask them intelligent questions. Uh -huh. Like, what is your plan? In the next five months, if you do not feature anywhere uh -huh. in this plan, be sure that that one is. You don't have to ask in the next ten years. Just ask in the next three months. Three months, then Thanks. you'll be able to know. That is when you can be able to know if you are if you are going to be accommodated or just you are there to fulfill the place. All oh, right, all right. So uh, I'm told people experience emotions differently. Yeah. 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 Uh, people in the corporate world have a certain way uh, they are conforming to uh, the in the artist artistic yeah. world. Yeah. People express themselves <laughs> differently, yeah. and and even the conversations are different when it comes to matters relating to men and, and, and women. Yeah. Do you think we can have one rule book <laughs> to tell us when to date and when not to date <laughs> and how to do this? Because people are very complex, and we are like seven billion of us. Exactly. Uh -huh. So, if, before even I answer you, uh -huh. you have to understand what's your love language. Uh -huh. And for you to understand your love language, it takes you to have a, a relationship with yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, because in a relationship, if you take care of my love language, for instance, if my love language is, uh, is gifts, uh -huh. ensure <laughs> that uh, you, in, w when, when you want to commit to another person, uh -huh. ensure you communicate the language of gift uh -huh. and be able to, like once you communicate the language of gift, uh -huh. do not have expectation in return. Oh, right. This is your way of expressing love. Express love. F try to figure out how this other person expressed the love uh, exp yeah. and measure, measure how much you're getting of it. Yeah, because you know in the like for instance a lady in the corporate world people will take her as so too serious she cannot but these people out here uh -huh. yet they can be in that in that uh, in that career in uh -huh. that field uh -huh. but the only thing they want they want a guy who will make the girl in them come uh -huh. out and for us men we want a lady uh -huh. who will make the boy in us because in every man uh -huh. there is two there is two personalities there uh -huh. is a boy who wants to play and there is a king who wants to rule so it depends uh -huh. who you approach in the man uh -huh. you will get the response based on what you approach in a man uh -huh. even the ladies uh -huh. because if you give a lady love because ladies naturally they are multipliers uh -huh. you give her anything she will multiply it back to you you <laughs> give her Spam, she will multiply and give you a kid. Right. You give her trouble, she will multiply and give you more. Exactly. Trouble. So, if, if you find your lady in a relationship, uh -huh. she is the one, like she's giving you some 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 something different uh -huh. you have to consider what are you giving her what are you giving her so it's very important to find your love language first love language be very, is very content important. with yourself exactly. and comfortable yeah. with yourself yes. and then then and only then yeah. you're ready to date yeah okay <laughs> uh, so um <coughs> Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> uh, understand that when you rush into dating without understanding yourself and appreciating the person in the mirror, it's easier for you to crush. All right. Yeah. So people are crashing in relationships as we speak. Exactly. And uh, it's hard to leave because of commitment. When it gets to this point where you're crashing, uh, but uh, you took an oath mm -hmm. to stay with this person, or whatever you did, uh, is it right to torture yourself till death? No, it's only a fool who does not change their mind. Uh -huh. So okay, okay, <laughs> only fools don't change their yeah. minds. You know, the mind is very dynamic. Yeah, uh -huh. and uh, you know, it's only in love uh -huh. that uh, people become. I uh, sometimes people, like, for lack of a better word, people uh -huh. become stupid uh -huh. for lack of a better word uh -huh. because. They are like that's that's the moment they are not even easy to think. Mm -hmm. You can easily commit to some things that mm -hmm. you are not able even to to adhere to them. Mm -hmm. But when once you sit back and uh, whatever has happened has happened, uh -huh. learn to forgive the person in the mirror. And mm -hmm. the person in the mirror is you yourself. Uh -huh. Forgive yourself and life has to move on. When I say ambulance in a lakini in a song and 
so to a heart broken do not that not the end of life okay okay so brave on brave keep, on keep moving yeah we have good people out there uh-huh. and uh, there's you know, always somebody for there you is some, there. somebody out there for you uh-huh. so it all begin that particular moment uh-huh. Accept yourself, forgive uh-huh. yourself, and uh, do not just use a blanket statement on everyone. Oh, okay. So it's, even it is a, a, a moment for you to to check uh-huh. how you the foundation of your dating. Uh-huh. So and once you you start dating on the right foundation, uh-huh. actually you'll attract the right people. All right. For more information, <laughs> you can find it in this book right here. Yeah, sure. Before you, you think, think of, of dating. dating, do we have soft copies online? Yeah, we do. We uh, have on where can Amazon. Where find them? I just talked to them straight. How they can get the physical copies? and now they can get the, the soft copies. Oh, thank you so much. You can uh, reach uh, unto us via my social media handles, yeah. Alan Lawrence on Facebook, on uh, Instagram, that is Alan underscore 320. Mm-hmm. Then we will be able to direct you on uh, Amazon. You can be able to reach us out, Alan Lawrence, and we can deliver the copies unto you. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Uh, Alan. Thank you uh, so right. much, sir. The, I'm really interesting in, uh, interested in the reading culture in our country, mm. especially with the youth. I see our parents at least uh, try because they read newspapers every yeah. day. Yeah. Uh, but how is the reading culture in this country, especially for the young people, considering you are you've published a book so you can you can you can have you can you can be a good gauge. Yeah, for me, I, uh, the reading culture in Kenya is mm-hmm. so nice. I've written an article somewhere and I said the reading culture is so nice. Mm-hmm. Why? Because everything rises and falls on leadership. Mm-hmm. So the kind of leadership uh, is, it is us to take that role mm-hmm. and enlighten people. Because once you enlighten people, the importance of them reading, because mm-hmm. the moment someone reads, you open your world, you open the way somebody reads, there is a way you have your reasoning capacity, your content pedagogy is on point. Mm-hmm. So you your create content, a new, uh, <laughs> content pedagogy. <laughs> <All right. laughs> so you get you get you get to that level whereby you instill the need in them that uh, y- once you read you become a better b- version of yourself uh-huh. because you are you are, like you suffer for your ignorance all right yeah you're always going to suffer for your ignorance, ignorance yeah. it's very important to read and uh, <coughs> How do you build a reading culture as a person uh, who has not read for the last t- six or four years after from four years <laughs> my channel now? Uh, how do you build? How do you cultivate a reading culture uh, in in such a person? Where do you start? For me, what has really worked worked out uh, is. You know, the moment you are tired, mm-hmm. the moment you are tired, you are about to retire to bed, just develop a culture of taking, like, maximum of 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. Read slowly, slowly, slowly. Within 21 days, you've developed a, cal- a culture of reading. And you need to have accountability friends. Uh-huh. And also, you need to have mentors. Uh-huh. In this generation we are living in, uh-huh. people are tormented because of lack of mentors. Uh-huh. So the moment you, be- you have mentors, people will be able to tell you what you need to hear, uh-huh. not what you want to hear. So once you have those people who put you on top, I think, I think we are we have the punchline. Right there. You need people who are going to tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. Mentorship is very important. Very important. I was talking to a mentor right before. I think you met him at Pali Vocal Reception. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Kayamba, head yeah. of department uh, media uh, in ZTech, and he was telling me that mentorship is very uh, important and part and parcel of growth when it comes to any field exactly mm-hmm. but you know the problem these days why, why why even potential mentors are running i've said this over and over mm-hmm. is uh the generation we are living in people are looking for endorsements mm-hmm. and associations uh-huh. not mentorship not mentorship so i want to so a picture is enough uh, exactly so i can post on yeah, instagram I, post on I was hanging out with ngugi uh, yeah, exactly. right <laughs> so people are uh-huh. just looking for endorsements they are looking for People like today, uh-huh. today if, if, if I'm a mentor of someone, uh-huh. I tell them that, you know what, I need you to do this, this, this and this. I give all my mentees, I give them deadlines. Uh-huh. And I also have people who, because you can never be a person, of, a person in leadership if, uh-huh. you never, if you are not under leadership. All right. So you will need to have those people who will be able to challenge you. Uh-huh. And let me talk to people who you look to some people like, your mentors, mm-hmm. it will be a failure on you as, as a mentee if you are only going to achieve mm-hmm. the, re- the results your mentor has achieved. Mm-hmm. You have to surpass. surpass. And how can you surpass? Uh-huh. Go and research. Who mentors this mentor of yours? Uh-huh. So start doing things 
but going back, going back, as also you move forward, yeah, do things going back, yes, do what Drake did to Lil Wayne, exactly. All right, Send. <laughs> okay, yeah, there is a he's almost <laughs> going to, 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 to Jay Z right there. All right, I have a lot of hip hop fans, yeah, I they understand that language, but thank you very much for coming. Thank you through. so much for having uh, me. Sir. You have really uh, opened up a world that I never imagined existed. Thank you. And we really appreciate you that uh, for that. Uh, just remind them your social media handles right there and how they can get a hold of the book again and then we can wrap up. Uh, you can get me on social media at Alan Lawrence. That is on Facebook and on Instagram, Alan underscore 320. Then uh, we can be able to interact and get a number of my books. Mm -hmm. Till next time, I've been yours truly, Alan Lawrence. Ciao. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Alan Lawrence. And we have come to the end of this. I hope you got some insight today. I hope you learned something yes. on why in the morning, because Mondays are for mentorship and Mondays are for gentlemen as well. Thank you. <laughs> as the queens wait for Wednesday. Wednesday. Thank you very much for being part of this show right there. As a viewer or as the member of the production team, we appreciate you. My name is Bai Moses, or it's Bai Mo Social media until next time Ciao. thank you <laughs>